What's going on, mother truckers? We're chilling here today. I, I, I'm parking lot, lot lizard, and I, I met a fellow subscriber here. Man, what's your name, brother? Cody. Cody? Yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm looking at what you do, and I'm like, yeah. this looks a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Because usually in the trucking world, we got a tractor, we got a trailer. Can you let people know what type of trucking this is? Uh, so basically, I drive, it's a straight truck, it's about 31 feet long and uh, I'm grossing out at about 58,000 pounds. I haul diesel and gasoline for a private construction company. I basically go to different job sites and I fill up all the machines. So it's pretty cool because every day is a little bit different. It's a new challenge, but uh, it's great to be home every night, which I do appreciate. I used to be over the road myself. Um, but overall, it just, uh, it's kind of like a real tight kind of family where I work out of. But as far as the job goes itself, it's just fun. I mean, if you like big, construction equipment like loaders excavators just to name a few and you're gonna have a good time sometimes you get to move them around too and have a little fun so dude we gotta link up after this bro because yeah. call me up when you do something dope so i didn't even think about that bro so these big ass machines yeah they need fuel too of course so you gotta bring it to them. yeah so that's where i come in and i get you know special access to some of these job sites like for example uh, i was on fpnl job site which is very limited access so it's cool to see how things are set up, you know, and just to get to experience stuff that most people don't get to see. Dude, so, that's sick, dude. Yeah. This is our climb of the sea. So, how the hell did you even like find a job like this, bro? Well, honestly, my mom connected me. Hey. My mom, <laughs> my mom has been with this company for many years, and uh, I recently got off the road, and uh, the supervisor of the company contacted me directly. He knows who I am, and he asked me if I wanted the position. They recently uh, got rid of the last guy, and I said, absolutely. I jumped all over it. And uh, I'm very pleased, I'm very happy. Uh, I love what the job entails for me. It's just it's fun. I love being around big equipment and construction and dirt and rocks and pipe and stuff. It's, for me, it's a lot of fun. And it's, you know, it's different than, you know, doing your everyday deliveries, you know, like in dry van or reefer, flatbed, all that stuff. You know, you get a little bit of a routine, so you get better at where you're going and what you're doing. And also, uh, it's just uh, overall, it's us, it's not so much driving where you're sitting in the truck all day long. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get tired, sleepy, just driving all day. So it's like half my day is driving, the other half I'm out of the truck moving around and grooving. Hey, that's what's up. So if you wanted to find a job like this, I know you're probably the only driver at this I am. construction place you're yeah. working at. But how would another driver find a job like this where you're like basically a, a fuel hauler for these big ass machines, right? Well, I would say my advice is look look around for uh, construction companies. Look at low boy drivers hauling equipment. Ask them, hey, who do you work for? And try to get some insight on the company and say, hey, do you guys have a fuel man? Or do you guys that so comes in fuel? That's a fuel man. Yeah, do you guys have a fuel man? And some of these companies do. And just kind of go get your name known and say, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm interested in what you do. I saw a video or I talked to somebody about it. I think it's right up my alley. You know, keep me in mind if you have something open or if you don't. Pretty much just word of mouth, man. Talk to people. Construction companies, is crane companies, those kind of companies are what I would look out for. That's what's up, and I know we're in Florida and other states are different. Yeah. What type of money can you make? Are you making more money staying home every day? <laughs> or are you making more money when you were on the road like this guy and like the guy right next to us? I'm making more money now being home. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, we'll keep it at that. Yeah. We'll keep it at that. Can we show what it looks like, what this tractor looks yeah, like? Yeah, come on. Sure, let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, let's look. Let's All look. right, cool. You know, um, so look at this little cute yeah. baby little thing. Yeah. Can you imagine, brother, like where uh, um, you're working your ass off, uh, you're over the road, you have this big 53-foot tractor trailer, uh -huh. and now you're in this small thing so that you can get to tight places? That's another thing I love about it, man. I can pull up almost anywhere versus when I had this 75-foot truck, you know, it was it was difficult. Life is a lot more convenient. Because sometimes we get in situations you're like, oh shit, what, what am I gonna do here, right? I don't have to think too hard about driving this truck. Sometimes do a three-point turn, or sometimes I just take the corner. Man, I feel like you could take this through the drive through at McDonald's, bro. Just about, it's uh, <laughs> it's roughly at the antenna, it's about 11 feet high. Well, let's walk it, let's walk it. Yeah, yeah let's show check me it out. what's up. Show me what's up, this is cool, brother. So basically, on this side, is not much going on. The fun stuff is on the other side, but this is just basically a utility box. Well, where no, I keep, good, where good, I keep some stuff. And it is a twin axle, tandem axle, whichever you prefer, which I like. I like heavy duty stuff, okay? Um, back here is where all the fun stuff happens. 
So basically, this is where I have all of my oils and my hose reels. I have gas kept on this side, diesel on this side. This is so I can open all my compartments. I have five compartments in this truck, okay? Up there, I got engine oil, coolant, hydraulic fluid, everything that the machines could need on a daily basis. How many machines, how many machines usually are you going uh, to fill up in a day, usually? It varies, um, but machines could, I mean, usually maybe as much as 35 in a day. It oh, depends. So you're, you're not playing around. You're going around. It's a different it is. site. It's a different place. Yeah, we have different jobs sometimes. Sometimes I got to go somewhere that was unexpected or they didn't use that much fuel that day. It all depends. Like today, I got out a little early, so I'm happy. Usually I start my day right now around 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning, which is great. I beat the heat, I beat the traffic. And on my way back, you know, life is good. I Man, get home, I get off. Smile, bro. I get off midday, so I feel like I have a lot of time left to do things. Hey, all you mother truckers. When you're going local, go to your construction site and say, you got a field man or a field woman? <laughs> That's it. Let them know who you are. Hey, so who's okay. this? What's this at? Right here. So this is basically just a vent. When you go to the port to fill up, you're going to open this vent so you can let out air and pressure. That's pretty much all it does. At the very top, you can't see. Maybe you can. There's uh, two burp vents up there. So when you're driving in the heat from the fuel expanding, it can burp the tanks for you. Um, moving up over here. Basically, this is, uh, they call this a goalie box, okay? And then this is, for, this is for a terminal where you connect to give power to this. Now, what this does is there's sensors in my tanks. Now, they're basically overfill protection sensors, and it will shut off the tanks as long as this is connected if I get within eight inches to the top of the tank so I don't have an overfill. That's pretty much all it does. And this lets you know, uh, basically, right here. If the lights are on, if lights are off, etc., you get the gist of it. Okay. And right here, this is the best part of the truck, if you ask me. This is the five different compartments where I fill. And down here at the bottom, I just change these over for depending on what compartment I need. And then I just turn on my PTO in the back. I have two PTOs on this truck. Hey, that's what's up, man. Yeah. So I'm thinking every morning you're headed out to the port to fill up all the fuel you need and then you go out and do all your runs when you need them is that kind of how that works i don't go every morning um it, it's, it's roughly maybe once or twice a week depending on what is going on you know it all depends on the machines but oh, that's cool, man. yeah i go to the port usually try to go on fridays that way i'm ready to go sometimes i work on saturdays and sundays that is a downfall sometimes but at the same time it's not hey, that you're bad over the road driver man when you're over the road everything yeah. else is cool brother yeah it's not that bad you know, uh usually uh with these construction sites and stuff like that is it mostly hourly pay yes so it is hourly good. pay okay um but you know compared to i did reefer driving i did flatbed driving um i still make more money and i enjoy my time better yeah and it's just overall a better lifestyle for me and look at this man this is comfortable people like i mean how long is this bad boy 31 feet 31 feet so i mean yeah. it's smaller than a damn trailer yes so this is great brother i know i really appreciate you for this um usually uh when you're doing things that are hazmat the field things like that um what kind of minimum requirement do they need before they start hitting up these construction sites you know as far as like driving experience yeah uh, typically it's going to be two years two years experience would be the preferred for most especially if it's a smaller company obviously like you know with the over-the-road companies the bigger they are the better insurance companies they have which will allow you to come in as almost a new driver but for something like this i'm going to say two years is what you're going to need you're obviously going to need your hazmat and your tanker endorsements and uh class b really you don't even need to class a i just happen to have one because right. I did combination over the road. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. See, I, I see the entrepreneur in you already. You yeah. could, this machine's probably expensive, but you could pick up one of these yourself and go on your own and start filling <laughs> up these bad boys. That's know? always like when I get started with anything new, I'm all, I always think like that. Right, right. Like, can I do this for myself? But these trucks, they can run a pretty penny depending on how uh, fancy you want to get with them. Yeah, no, you that's know? dope, man. Because, you know, thank you so much for the insight. I appreciate you. You know, there's a lot of us as drivers. Uh, we just need a new seed planted in your head. Yeah. Uh, maybe some more things can come out of it. There's different so, opportunities out there. Yeah, definitely. So seeing this now. Yeah. Some more opportunities gonna come out, man. Sweet. So thank you for that. Any shout outs to anyone? Uh, thank you for everyone who has helped me along my journey. Everyone who watches video, who knows who I am, and also this guy. You know. Uh, uh, come on. Thanks, man. So all I can say is I'm happy. I love my life. I appreciate everything. Hey, that's what's up, man. So. Yeah. Uh, before trucking, what were you doing, brother? Before trucking, um, I've had multiple careers. Um, 
two that I guess are, are more proud of would be a uh, real estate license and insurance. I did that as well. What and was then your first job? My first job ever was uh, actually at a construction company yeah. when I was uh, 16 or 15 years old and I was working in the yard, just helping around in the yard, organizing stuff, getting stuff ready for the guys to leave. So I've been involved in construction since a young kid. I've actually worked as a laborer. Um, I've worked as uh, testing pipe. I've actually operated excavators and stuff. So I've been in the field. I love the field. I just don't like doing labor work, yeah, yeah. to be so honest. It really started from the bottom, man. In a sense, yeah. You know, uh, did you ever think uh, that you'd be here today with the career that you have? No, no, I didn't. You know, you never know. You just kind of roll up the punches sometimes and new ideas come up. Just like this video, watching this video maybe gives somebody else a new idea. And I think the most important thing is to start to really learn yourself, your personality. You know, we're all trying to figure out what we really want. You know, what's gonna work. Sometimes the idea of something isn't where reality is. You know, for me, I thought of over the road, trucking, and then, you know, reality, it's a little bit different, you know? So take your experience and try to understand yourself and go from there. Hey, I love it, man, I love it. Thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.